And now to help with the influx of unaccompanied migrant children crossing the border, Fort Bliss built facilities. And you can't have these centers without workers. There are approximately 1,000 jobs on offer with federal contractors, and that number could only grow. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips joins us live from the Fort Bliss facilities with the latest information about the open jobs. Rachel. Steph, you can see those white tents in the background. They've been set up to house unaccompanied migrants to keep up with the demand of those unaccompanied migrants that are crossing into the U.S. right now. Facilities like this one are only expected to need more staff. The shelter is originally was supposed to sustain five to 10,000 children, but we've been notified it's going to even grow further. For youth care workers, they originally wanted 600, but they've already surpassed that. Active employees we have close to 300 and right now during the credentialing process we have close to if not over 500. And they're still hiring. Youth care worker positions aren't the only jobs on offer. There are also security guard positions and food service workers as well. Depending on the job pay starts at $12 an hour and goes all the way up to $20. Many waited in line for hours, ready to pitch themselves as a youth worker. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind listening to them taking their case with the personal touch, I guess, who each person can give. So that's what I'm hoping. On top of the rewarding experience, these jobs are also giving El Pasoans the chance to get back in the workforce. Oh, I'm just glad jobs are back opening up here in El Paso. For all people work and help out, you know, um, meet these people also, you know, so it's, it's a win-win for for the community and for, for the people that are here coming in. All workers have to go through a pretty extensive background check, but they also need another key skill up their sleeve. These children are limited or have no English, so they do have to be bilingual in order to communicate with them. These jobs will be reevaluated every six months depending on the demand at this facility, and you can start as early as you are cleared. Come, uh, reporting live from just outside Fort Bliss, Rachel Phillips, ABC7.